Alright, so here we go. Go for a supply list. I used to be an electrician for about four years. So I'm going to attempt to do this with three quarter inch EMT pipe. I'm not sure if it's going to be steady enough. The one inch definitely looks steady enough. And what we're going to do is mount it. We're going to run the cable out the heater, uh, the exhaust port on top of the roof. And we're going to attach it to take that satellite off and attach it up onto the satellite mount and go up from there. I'm not sure if we're going to go 10 feet high or if we're going to connect them with uh, three quarter inch EMT connectors to see how high we can go. Maybe double this 20 feet high. I got 30 feet of SMA male to SMA female uh, LMR 400 cable. I got a metal box. The reason why I want metal is because the Bobcat antenna is magnetic so what we're going to do with this is this is actually going to go on top of here this is going to be the top coupled with an extension ring that's going to go up on top of here and then this metal this metal plate is basically going to finish the assembly out like this and with this connected to here running down so water doesn't run inside the Bobcat antenna will go up through here and we're going to make all our, our connections waterproof inside of this box. I have my um, lightning arrestor which will sit right on top of here. Another compression connector, three quarter. Here's some three quarter inch pipe hangers if we want to mount it on the side of the house to get past the, uh, the uh, lip the, uh, the, the rain lip. I have some uh, three quarter inch straps. We also have some three eighths regular straps here. So we can, uh, we need to mount this onto the, yeah, secure this a little bit more. I'm going to be using these straps to secure my pipe to the inch and a half uh, pipe antenna holder. And you're going to need a ground ground rod, some ground wire, probably at least 10 gauge, maybe 8 gauge would be even better. But uh, you're going to need this one to go to the ground rod. You're going to need a ground rod and then this one to go on top of um, to this system. And we're going to ground everything with our ground bolts. And I'll show you where... Here's my router. You see, it's nice to get the Bobcat real close to the internet. That way, it has good connection. Here's where I had it before. And over there, yeah, right over there is the hole that I'm coming, running that wire through. And it's going to plug to the back of here. There you go. All right, let me crawl up there, fish that wire through. Look how easy it was. No damage to the house. So we're gonna pull this. So we want enough to go for a mount down over there. That looks pretty good. Alright, now we'll know on the other, because this is 30 feet. Now we know how high we can make our antenna. Because we have all the wire that we need down here. There's two sticks together. This is way too high. I think I'm gonna stick with just the 10 feet. But that's 20 feet in the air. Yeah, three quarter inch EMT, one stick, 10 feet, would be perfect. Guess I didn't need to order so much cable then.
Okay, now we're gonna feed the LMR 400 wire down through here. So the first time I ordered the wrong part, I ordered SMA SMA uh, connectors, but it's the wrong connectors. This is you need reverse polarity connectors. See the difference there. So make sure you get RP SMAs. Now the first time I ordered, I got it on Amazon, Bolton. And the second time I ordered, I got uh, my wire from MP Digital. Now, there's, I could definitely see a difference in the wire. This is like Bolton stuff. It's about the same price. This is really cheap plastic. This is actually bendable and will hold. So, it's been a few extra days waiting. I would go with the MP Digital versus the Bolton uh, wire on Amazon. So I'm just gonna take, we're gonna take the RP SMA side, and this is gonna go down to the uh, Bobcat Miner and plug into the back of there. Yeah, here we are, we're up on the roof. Getting ready to hang this thing up. Here's my LMR 400 RP SMA male going down to the Bobcat. Here's my mount, I'm gonna mount this up on here. My grounding clamp to ground the EMT with the, with the gauge, 12 gauge wire. Should be bigger, but I had it, so I'm not gonna go buy more wire. Um, probably 10 or 8 gauge would be better. Um, Got my grounding over there. Copper putt, copper rod in the ground. Over here on this setup. Everything's all pre-wired here. The cable's coming up here. Grounded to the, to the metal box. Grounded to the lightning arrestor. This is gonna connect to here. I have this facing down, liquid tight, 90 elbow. That way no rain. It's going to wet weather, weather proof everything. Antenna screws into here. Because this is going to be sticking out, you're going to need the extension ring here to cover everything up. And this and the stock bobcat screws in. So I'm just going to put some sealant all around these joints to kind of weatherproof it. As I say, it's not an outdoor antenna, but we're going to see how long it lasts for and see if it improves our signal. And in the end, since it's water, since it has a magnet, just like that, and that's going to be sitting on top. It's going to be our base. Let me put everything together. All right, here we go. Wall wired in. Pretty simple. It's coming down here. Now, if this doesn't improve uh, my earnings, then I can just get an adapter here, RPSMA, to an end adapter and mount a regular uh, rack wireless, I don't know, 5.8 or 8 dBi antenna, to try to see if we can get some gains. So, this is why you need the extension cap. This is gonna go on here like that. And then that goes on top. And that's gonna be the whole setup in the air. All right, well, ready to mount the mast up. Gutter glue went pretty good, you see. I just ended up coating everything with it. Give it a little bit more durability, even the wires we got down here. Good to go. All right, there you have it. We're all wrapped up. 
measure the distance. We are 22 feet from the ground. I'm going to get a level on it. Make sure you level. Level both ways. Close enough. Here we made all of our connections. Grounded to here. Ground clamp to the EMT, to the to the wire. Things nice and sturdy. Ground wire going all the way down there to the copper pole on the ground. There you have it.